so we're going to Osgiliath Basin, huh? Now, does it instantly start something? Because if it does, that's kind of bad. If it doesn't, then hey, cool. We can run. I don't think it will. I hope not. Who knows? Maybe there's something like the spider in here that we can fight. It's reacting. There's definitely something here. There's the Osgiliath base in the so-called Forbidden Land. Be careful, it's hard to tell what could happen in a place like this. Yeah, yeah, let's get going already. Time to begin the search. Hey, we can run. Chest. Okay, so there's three chests. Four. And then whatever is up there with the hey, hey, woman charge uh, station. Did it just suddenly get darker? Is a storm coming or what? I don't think it's a storm. The air feels different somehow. Oh, I didn't realize this is a boss chest. Ash and Altina. Level 73. Are we underleveled? Still? A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Oh crap, it has crit. Well. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Helio raid. Now, let's dance. I ain't done with you yet. Billio Ray. <laughs> Sweet dreams. My turn. Seven thousand eight hundred. I got the critical. So what's your weakness? Water. Great. That's fantastic. Akini is here. Now, trans. No, you're another one of those that called minions when you lose health. Now. That's this is bad. This is very, very bad. Charging! I got this. Summon Hector. My turn. How dare you do that to Altina? Hmm. My turn. And tear the bomb on yourself, Altina. Ha! My turn. There. Now. It's mine. Okay, I got nice this. Quit. Yeah. Yeah. Rush. Back, Back me up, up buddy. buddy. Potential? My turn. 
Why? Why? <laughs> oh god, that costs five. Go wild! Now. Brionac two. Brionac activate. Fire. Now. It's mine. I like the fact that that put his <clears throat> defense down. I got this. Rumbling smash. You're mine! Bye bye. Ha! Done already? Level up for Altina, 71. Stats updated. Overcame the trial. Ash's order Crazy Hunt has been upgraded to Crazy Hunt EX. HP and new EP fully recovered. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna be right back. What the heck is down here now? There's a lot of enemies. And <gasps> very different paths. <sighs> That's the Osgiliath Basin, huh? The view is stunning but unsettling at the same time. And what's all the way down there? Looks like we hit the jackpot. Could be dangerous. Stay on your toes. That's not the pantagruel, is it? It looks almost too small to be the pantagruel. It could just be because we're so far away. I mean, hey, it's again, powerful. It's we must take care. Ah, crap. This scorpion's a big one? Well, crap. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Seal 2. Okay. I'm all too curious to see how much experience that scorpion gives me. But at the same time, I'll find out later. Possibly when I end the episode. Because I don't think I'm going to be ending the episode after doing this. I think it might be before. Unless, of course, I accidentally run into a story right now. That just takes me instantly there. It's a tough one. Careful. I'll always love taking those atom powders. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. That is definitely not the Pantagruel, but that has to be a ship that possibly could have been on the Pantagruel. Then again, I'm all too curious. Because if it doesn't technically take us back to Eren. But. Let's go. Mildine, aka Muse, can, you know, join the party again. I'll then have a level objective of possibly 74. Eh, screw it. Might as well. The episode is technically done. It's it's about an hour at least. Look! Over there! Just as we thought. That's the landing craft and the pentagrel. Damn, look at all these creepy ass flowers. And over there, just the ladies we thought we'd see. Yep. There she is, Muse and Aurelia. Duchess Mildine. Wow, not even introducing her as Muse, huh? General Aurelia Le Guin. Muse. And Principal Aurelia. Oh, you finally arrived. My young horned lions. Am I gonna have to fight them both? That'd be interesting. Welcome, Thor's Branch Campus's Class 7 Special Operations. My name is Mildine. Mildine Yuzalith de Cayenne. I am heiress to the Cayenne Duchy and sponsor of the Viceland Army. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance at last. Uh-huh, sure. Our acquaintance? Hmm. 
A new introduction for your new identity, is that it? Oh, Yuna. You'll have to forgive me for hiding the truth from you. Muse was an old nickname of sorts. One my parents gave me before they passed. After the accident, however, their duchy was inherited by my uncle Croy. No sooner had he taken his seat as the new Duke Cayenne, than I was shipped off to Heimdall, out of sight and out of mind. There, I spent close to a decade as a student at St. Astraea, all the while knowing that my uncle's actions would one day lead to civil war. What? That's impossible. You're saying that as a little kid, you knew there was gonna be a civil war? It only made sense. I could see what my uncle would make of House Cayenne's assets. The machinations of the other four great houses and the Reinford group as well. The Empire's relationships with Crossbell and the Republic. The Blood and Iron Chancellor's plots. Excluding supernatural elements, such as the Society and the Divine Knights. All of these factors allowed me to predict that the Noble Alliance would move to suppress the Reformist faction by force. And that it would all lead to Duke Cayenne's to my Uncle Croy's inevitable downfall. If you were anyone else, I'd think that was a bluff. Lady Mildine contacted me right at the close of the Civil War. As an ally of Count Egret, I'd known of her since she was a child, when she predicted every twist and turn of the Northern War, right down to the Empire's proposal. I made up my mind. I would see Lady Mildine as the next head of House Cayenne. Not that sham of a man Marquis Ballad. Though I must admit to this day, I find both her ambition and the accuracy of her predictions intimidating. For instance, she sought contact with the Witch of Ouroboros to bolster her list of allies. And by the end of last year, she had foreseen the National Mobilization Law, the war with Calvert, and even the curse overtaking the Empire. Last year? Damn, she's like some kind of monster. You can't be clairvoyant. Hmm. So what is it? I merely look at the pieces in play and consider how they will interact. No clairvoyance necessary. I see the current state of things, the events that led up to this point, and the multitude of futures spreading out before us. And, most importantly, I see the goal of the one who controls the game board. At the moment, Chancellor Osborne is unmistakably that person. Prince Oliver noticed this as well, and did all he could to stop Osborne's ambitions. But it became clear to me that he never quite understood the extent of the Chancellor's plans. Which is why I started devising some plans of my own. The first was getting the General here to take over as principal of the Thor's branch campus. And the second was claiming the title of Duchess Cayenne and recruiting soldiers to my side behind the scenes. Then, when the Great Twilight broke out, I established the Viceland Army. It is with this very force that I intend to stop Operation Jormungand. Perhaps you could say, they're the dagger I prepared, to strike at the heart of the Serpent. Muse. I'm finally starting to see what Eusis was talking about. I don't quite understand how, but you really do intend to fight them, don't you? The Imperial Army has grown to a massive size with the recent draft. It may very well be the largest force ever assembled. An army of a million strong poised to destroy Calvert. Yet you still plan to stand against them? Yes, that's exactly right. <sighs> Are those women we met earlier another part of your plans? The ones affiliated with the Principality of Remaferia and a certain other country? So you ran into them, did you? Must be fate. But you are correct. We invited them here to discuss their cooperation. I imagine they're secretly conferring with their respective countries as we speak. All right, I'm starting to see what you're after now. It's gonna mean a lot of bloodshed. Even if it's successful, there will be a ton of casualties. True. I estimate it will result in hundreds of thousands of deaths. Though in the worst-case scenario, it could be millions, civilian and soldier alike. So many dead. You're serious about this? I am. 
At this point, the Imperial Army has gained too much momentum for us to be able to stop it outright. Erebonia was already the greatest military power in Zemiria, And like you said, conscription has only further increased its strength. That's without even factoring in the Panzer Soldats, railway cannons, and airships. It has the advantage in both numbers and technology. What's more, the Chancellor has Ouroboros at his beck and call. And above all else, there's the Great Twilight itself. Its curse removes any chance that those involved in the conflict could grow weary of war. At this early phase, many are able to resist its influence, but that won't last forever. It's only a matter of time until every soul in Erebonia will be able to think of nothing but war. Which is why I presented the other nations an ultimatum. Do nothing and allow themselves to be swallowed up by the Empire, forever stained by its curse. Or join me in one final effort to keep the world from ending. Fighting back, no matter the cost. That's what I told those women you met, and it's what I've told everyone else I've been in contact with. <sighs> Just how many countries have you spoken to? Wait. You're telling me you've talked to everyone already? Much like Operation Jormungand itself, my plan is well underway. The bell cannot be unrung. Even if I were to die, the choice to fight or be overtaken would still remain. Now, I'll keep my predictions as to what they will choose to myself. But, humans are foolish and prideful, but they tend to show their true colors and their true strength in times of crisis. In the end, that will be the deciding factor. Unbelievable. <clears throat> You've got guts. Even with your predictions, this can't have been easy. But, Muse, why join us? Hmm? I can see your resolve, and I get what you're trying to do. But what I don't get is why you joined Class 7. What purpose did that serve? If everything you just told us is true, wouldn't it have been more effective for you to stay behind the scenes? And even if enrolling at the branch campus was part of your plan, you didn't need to transfer to Class 7. Wasn't sticking with us through everything that happened in the Grawl an unnecessary risk? I... <laughs> I only did what would benefit me, naturally. How could I resist the chance to get close to the son of the Chancellor, the Ashen Awakener himself? He seemed like he would have some connection to the curse, so I thought that learning more about him would be advantageous in the long run. Yeah, sure, that's the only th reason why. Of course, it didn't hurt that Instructor Reen is totally my type. Okay, that part I believe. <laughs> but the rest of that explanation was bullshit. Agreed. That sounds like a job for one of your pieces. As a player, it would be safer for you to stay removed from all this. And that includes you talking to us in person right now. <sighs> when I connected with everyone in the Grawl, I felt a warmth inside you, Muse. No matter what you might say now, you couldn't have fabricated that. Your feelings toward all of us are genuine. That's the one thing I can say with absolute certainty. Altina. <laughs> your poker face is starting to crack, Egret. Still, that little trick of yours is something else. You could really give Osborne a run for his money. And this plan you've come up with is probably the best chance anyone has of shutting down the Empire. But... The question is, can you live with yourself afterward? Yeah, you've thought the plan up, but I'm guessing you sure as hell wish there was another way. Listen, Muse. You may not think so, but you really are just a regular girl. What? Your friendships with Elise and Alfin, your pride in our class, your major crush on Instructor Reen, they're all part of that. That dirty mind of yours and the way you tease people can be a little annoying, I admit. It's fun. Still. You're just an ordinary girl who loves sweets, gossip, and all sorts of other regular stuff. Same kind of girl you'd find anywhere. Sure, you may also be a genius who can come up with plans to change the fate of the world, 
but that's beside the point. There's no way an ordinary girl like you would be okay with a plan that would cost millions of people their lives, is there? <laughs> oh, I get it. You wanted to tell us what you were up to. Because every plan you came up with involved a huge sacrifice. And you were hoping Class 7 would be able to help you find a better solution. Pretty much. I... I... <laughs> Avelia, are you going to make us fight you? <laughs> Let me put it another way. What do you really want, Muse? I'm not asking future Duchess Mildine Useleth de whatever. I'm asking Muse Egret, member of Class 7. What do you want to do? Yuna, I... The truth is, I, I... Well, isn't this a touching sight? Ah, oh, come on. It's you guys I gotta fight. Those uniforms. They're from the main campus. And isn't that... <laughs> this she is truly. Why is she a cl why is she a student? This her undercover act. Uh huh. Fritinator. Cedric. Major Michael Irving. Oh boy. Hello, Shirley. What's the number? We meet again, Class 7. 17. <laughs> Don't try to run. We have you surrounded. Ada. Fritz? And... What's going on? It's been some time, Class 7. How convenient to find all of you in one place. Ah, former instructor Irving. I wish I could say I was surprised to see you on their side. I take it you've chosen to remain with the military, then. Perceptive as ever, former Principal Le Guin. I have some plans of my own. I've since taken on the position of Field Exercise Supervisor for the Thor's main campus. For your safety, I would advise you all to come quietly. Ah, uh, piss off, you stick in the mud. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Kurt. How have you been since the Grawl? Your Highness. Is that the Sanguine Ogre? Yeah. What the shit is she doing in a Thor's uniform? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Oh, you like it? I thought I filled it out nicely. You do. Everyone's here. Just like the Intelligence Division said they would be. The would-be Imperial Assassin, Ash Carbide, and all of his Class 7 accomplices. Even Lady Mildeen, suspected instigator of the recent armed uprisings. As a representative of both Thor's and the Imperial family, it is my duty to take you all in. <laughs> Go ahead and try! I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. What? You think you're hot shit now that you've got some shiny new toys? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. After all, what good is power if you can't exercise it? And right now, you are all powerless to stop me. Especially given that my sniper has a bead on your Rakshasa right now. Gareth the Bla Blitz, Gareth. The Red Constellation's here, too? I called in the big guns. This whole thing seems a little petty, but whatever. I'm only here to fulfill His Highness's orders. Between the Jaegers and Major Irving, they've staged a two-pronged offensive. Having to fight my way through both of them and ensure Lady Mildine's safety might prove a tad bothersome. We've set up a perimeter with the Ark Royale and the RMP's anti-aircraft cannons. 
Trying to escape aboard your landing craft would be suicide. And don't even try bringing out your pans or soldats. That will make no difference. You knew about that, huh? He was our instructor, after all. Be that as it may. Oh? She dropped, she dropped her hair? My friends have shown me a new potential path, and I'm not about to let that slip through my fingers. <laughs> it's a good thing I stopped grinding, because Muse is coming with us, but at the same time, she's probably higher level than us. Muse great. All right. Do your worst. I, Muse Egret of Class 7, will fight back with everything I've got. Muse. Hell yeah, that's more like it. That's right. This is not where our story ends. It's only the beginning. Not until we get our instructor back. <sighs> oh, very well. I suppose we'll have to break you before you really understand the position you're in. God and we'll do so with the greatest that Thor's Class 1 has to offer. Show us how far you've come since the Grawl. We won't let our history stay our blades. So don't give us anything less than your all. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it, assholes. I hope you're ready, your highness. <laughs> I've been waiting for a chance to cut loose. Let's do this. I'm ready. We fight together, everyone! Let's do this, new class seven! Here I come! Why are they Prepare faster? yourselves! Come on! You better not disappoint me! Cedric okay. and Shirley Give it are your faster. All. You'll need it! Okay, reduce all enemy HP. That's a completion condition. Reduce the enemy's HP to a certain amount within 40 turns. You get the AP requirement. You're mine! Seriously, Cedric? Ha! Not today! Ow. What a dick. How about this? <laughs> Burn! I'll care for you. Thank you. Thank you, Muse. It's my turn! Alright. There's honestly no reason to do anything but this. Sledgehammer, yeah, I could drop the armor. Whoop. <laughs> Go wild! Crazy hunt! All right! There! <clears throat> Let's go! Excel Breaker! <clears throat> Let's go! I can't. No. Actually, I'm not using hers. Hers is the heal. Brilliant shot. Let's see what music can do. I'll cast a spell on you. <laughs> so pretty. Brilliant shot! I may have gone a little too far. <laughs> oh, decent. My turn. Ada is now burning. Not bad. So Cedric and Shirley are almost in red. Fritz and Ada are the only ones I have to fully kill. Alright. Actually, you know what? Screw it. My kitty is here. Now, transform. Incomplete. Go, Arcadius here. Ready? Launch. Riona, open fire. Within 40 turns. Exterminating huh? target. I've got to make it less than 10. Let's go. Wagner strike. Behold, the dual blades of Vander. Now, huh. I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! 
Bye bye. Impossible. Pitiful. <laughs> You're holding out rather well. Wait, truly? <laughs> She's still alive? I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks for Someone the help. Someone save Yuna. I'll care for you. Thank you. Someone save Yuna. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I'll care for you. Thank At you. least these two can buff each other and heal. I shall go. How did Shirley survive that? Yes. Now. I got you. Very well. Alright, Kurt is far too gone. Tira. Thanks! Here I go! Needle shot. Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Aqua bleed. Arcus, activate! Let's go! Needle shoot. Nope. Earth quest. Sure, why not? Yeah! <laughs> there! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are pretty good. I'll support you. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for the help. AP conditions met in less than 10 turns. 4 minutes 40 seconds. Muse was only one level higher than us. God dang it. <laughs> I was one level off. Eh? I mean, I did good, at least? Oh, actually, no, she was two levels. Yeah, she was two levels. Still not bad. AP increased by three. <sighs> <sighs> I can't believe you've improved this much. You didn't bore me. I'll give you that. <sighs> what did you expect? Hatchlings have to grow up someday, right? We couldn't afford to lose now. Not to you, your highness. As a Vander, I swore my swords to your protection. But now that you've lost your way, I need to protect you from yourself. <sighs> Kurt. <laughs> Fine. Let's see how those swords of yours fare against this. Going to summon you to the night. Testarossa. Yep. Testarossa, the Vermilion Knight. <laughs> Now, are you ready for the real battle? So this is the demon that wields a thousand weapons. Your Highness, this is outside the scope of our operation. He doesn't care. Seriously? You're whipping it out now? I swear, a little excitement and off you go. Allie, now! Black Shade, release! You really think that such puny machines stand a chance against the Divine Knight? So either Aurelia is going to join us in this fight, or Muse actually has her pants of soul out with her. Come on, let, make it not a 2v1. Make it a 3v1. What the heck is that? Damn, Thousand Weapons is right. It still has remnants of the Vermilion Apocalypse's power inside it. <laughs> If only we had a Spiegel. If only, right? Is that why Muse has the phone out? <laughs> Funny you should say that. A 
elite pentasol that Spiegel S. B but how? I just so happened to stumble upon it at Rock Patio and quietly delivered it to the others for this very contingency. You guys. Looks like it got there okay. Your timing was perfect, Muse. Sandy helped us finish up the repairs. Give them help for us, Kurt. Right. Of course. Okay, so Kurt's the one who gets to fight next. All right. I mean, it makes sense. It's you really do plan fighting. for everything, don't you? Now we can turn the tide. <laughs> so you've got one more piece of junk. What good will that do? A lot more than you are about to junk. find out. Here we go. I do wish that we had better <laughs> EX orbs, but hey, what can you do? All right. Now then, who shall I destroy first? Sad thing is, I don't remember what Testa Rosa's, you know, breakpoints are. All right. If they're the same as the second game, I don't know. Let's get them. They're mine. Let us look out. Let's go. <laughs> Him standing still is literally the his head. It's down. Alrighty it's then. Mine. My turn. Yeah! It's mine! What? Jesus, one slash does 26,000 damage. Yes! And that does 52, dang. I I know how to heal, alright? Spare it! Alright! Back to standing still. What? Wide open! They're mine! Very well. It's down! It's mine! Right, we get to do a unite with Ash. My turn! It's down! Unite! Everyone, go! Okay! Leave it to me! It's mine! What? 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 Uh. Ryan, come <laughs> Nice damage. Ah. Ah. Now, Evan Barrier. Yeah. Fire! No, you don't. What? Idiot. Ha! My turn. Defend. Uh... It's my turn. Okay, so. Arms. Ha! What? Wide open. They're mine. What? Was that actually sure. right? When he's in this stance, it's his arms. Yeah, it is. What? Dang it. Not again. It's my turn. Jesus Christ, Cedric. Calm down, man. Very well. Stop your yelling. What? What? It's down. It's mine. What? It doesn't make you look cool. It just makes you sound stupid. I got this. What? <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> yeah. It's my turn. Cover 30% HP, all allies. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Okay, seriously, Cedric, just stop with that yelling. Let's go. It doesn't make you cool at all. <laughs> there, it's mine. It's my turn. 
Fast break. Uh, sure. Hmm. What? Doesn't me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's mine. My turn. Huh. Finish it. There. Ragnar, Ragnar. Impulse. What? What? You know, I don't think I've ever actually, actually seen Kurt's finisher. Why are you resisting? Because you suck. Four minutes, 24 seconds. Not actually that bad. Link four with Muse. All right. Bander. <laughs> That's right, you suck, Cedric. Kurt, did we get him? <sighs> Was that enough? No, it's not over yet. <laughs> This is absurd. How could mere Panzer Soldats do this? Not ah, mere Panzer Soldats, they're still connected to Valimar. Come on, Princey boy. You can do better than that. You do know how much stronger your machine is than theirs, right? You're bringing shame to the Testarossa name. You're so pathetic, I can feel my weapon cringing at you. <laughs> Dang, Shirley. <sighs> You're not wrong, though. No. Shirley, now's really not the time. And please don't call me Princey Boy. Whatever you say, Your Highness. Ada, Fritz, everyone into the soldats. They only have three. We'll bring them down through sheer numbers. Aw, oh, what's wrong, Cedric? You don't have the power to fight us on your own. You need to call in backup. Your Highness. That's going too far. Are you questioning your prince's orders? The Red Constellation, then. What are you waiting for? Capture them! Your Highness. I don't think so. Hey, Elisa! Alright. And Gaius, I'm assuming. What the? Along with Emma. Old Lord class Marcus. seven. Heck of an entrance. Any uses? Are all of you okay? We managed to pinpoint the singularity, so we came to help. Forgive the impropriety, your highness. However, we cannot let your unchivalrous behavior go unchallenged. That's right. We will not stand idle while our fellow Class 7 members are in danger. How did they manage to break through the RMP's perimeter? Because you guys suck. <sighs> I'll admit their timing's <laughs> good, but... <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. This makes no difference. Is Rian gonna Bring show up? everyone you like. It won't change. <laughs> Are you quite sure about that? Oh? There's the pantagruel. <laughs> She had it hidden away, right above them. All right. What? Ooh la la! Isn't that? It was here this whole time. Yeah. The pantagruel. Impossible! Where did it come from? That was some truly impressive cloaking. Oh, hello there, Vera Clotilde, the Azure Miss. Well done, Miss Witch. You ask the impossible, and I deliver. Hello, Your Highness. You've gotten taller since we last met. Major, Ogre, how have you been? Our side's ready to fight at any time. Are you? Ooh, 
more soldats. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's one way to turn the tables. Prince Cedric, I hate to admit this, but we don't have the power to deal with their forces as it stands. I suggest we make a strategic retreat. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Cedric, you got all that power and yet you still suck Very at using well, it. Very well, Major. Send word to all main <laughs> campus students. Kurt, Class 7, crew of the Pantagruel. This round goes to you. It'll always go to but us. But I will not allow this insult to go unavenged. I promise you that. Oh, please. Next time we fight, V will probably be with us. Main Which campus students, withdraw. Y yes, sir. That means us too, Gareth. Right. The Thor's main campus students in the Red Constellation retreated. Once everyone had calmed down, Muse and Vita began to talk things through. Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. <laughs> These Class 7 reunions are never uneventful. No kidding. Still, it's good to see you all again. Right back at you, Brigadier General. And thank you for saving us. You know, Ygritte, I thought it was weird you just had one person with you, even if it was Rakshasa. But damn, keeping the ship right above our heads the whole time. That's a hell of a move. Oh, if you had idea and it worked out in the end right. Don't be so modest, you're the one who timed things out and gave the command after all. I didn't even realize you two knew each other. She reached out after the incident at the Infernal Castle. Since then, her sponsorship has been of great help to us. In return, Vita has been supporting my plans and teaching me a little magic. Huh, well that's worrisome. But my concerns aside, it really is nice to see you, Vita. Emma, finally got rid of those silly glasses, did you? You must be serious. Aw, oh, come on, what happened? V said he only wanted you to look at him without glasses on. Dang it. That's right, if I'm going to rescue Reen and Selena, I don't have time to hide who I am. It would appear you are the same as ever, Vita. Hello, Rose. Grandmother. Hello, Grandmother. Calling Pamera and I take it. Correct. It simply took me a while to get a grasp on the spirit veins over there. Emma's not the only one with grievances to air, Vita, but we have more pressing matters to attend to. Wouldn't you lot agree? Oh yeah, right. Does that mean that there's a singularity here after all? The profusion of Pleroma grass should be proof enough. Hurry and drive the stake into it. I'm on it. There's another one. That makes five now, together with the ones we found in Nortia and Nord. Two more to go. Rescuing our instructor is finally starting to feel like a reality. Oh yes, yes. Oh I see, yes. This w should allow you to pin down the workshop's location. You all really are amazing. Even with the odds stacked against you, you still found a sliver of hope to hold on to. Hey, don't act like you're not a part of this. Yeah, Muse, remember what you told us earlier. And your plans are set up so they can carry on without you overseeing them personally, right? Come with us, we'll get Instructor Reem back together. But I... Hmm... You got the Golden Rock shots already. That's enough of a symbol to rally your troops behind. And isn't this the perfect chance to make Schwarzer owe us one for life? Although I'm not sure that it will ever balance out everything he's done for us. It's your choice, Muse. We can still rescue him without you. It's most likely the one who rescues him first will see the most gratitude. 
I would have thought this would have been more appealing to you, but I suppose it does not matter. You won't be first either way. <laughs> they are very skilled in pushing her buttons. <laughs> that they are. Well, when you put it like that, how can I not come along? Then I, Muse Egret, will happily return to Class 7. Finally! Thank you, all of you, for helping me find my way back. But of course. Wish you were kind of... I was your level, but... Eh, Muse is higher level than us, it's fine. <laughs> At least it was only two levels and not the five or six it was for Ash. Music left to rally and rest in charge of the Viceland army and the Pantacool. After bidding farewell to Maya and the others, Class 7 returned to Aaron Village via the Spirit Path. Wait, did I do everything here? I did, right? I did every single green marker I saw. I'm not getting an S this time. I already know it. I even did the monster. I did the little sub event. I can't for the life of me remember if there was anything else. There can't be. I did everything. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And hey, Sarah and Elliot are here waiting for us. A two heard gaunt and investigated in Hydeville had also returned to it. The members of Class 7 celebrated Musei's return as well as their discovery of the singularity. Two more to go, huh? And we still have not seen rain. Once night has settled on the village, the new Class 7 headed off to a certain location at Yuna's suggestion. Yep, the hot springs. New Class 7 together. Uh, how positively soothing. Though I do find it a bit embarrassing mingling with the gentlemen like this. The feeling's mutual. Relax, I prefer my chicks fully grown. Ain't exactly got gonna respond here. <laughs> What the hell, Ash? And what kind of response would that be, huh? Sheesh, and since when are you the bashful type muse? If anything, I expected her to have ba bathed with Instructorine already. I mean, technically speaking, if you chose the one card correctly, she did. You didn't. No, I'm only joking. We haven't bathed together, but well. That did happen! That was the actual, real choice. That was the cannon card that we that we did not choose. I saw it. I just never went with that. Who knew that that was the canonical one to go with? All right, Musee. Damn, you really got that numb skull Schwarzer to go along with one of your little games. That's actually pretty impressive. I can only assume he was pushed into a position where he couldn't possibly refuse. <laughs> Speaking of the instructor, I'm worried about him. Not to mention the fate of the branch campus. Oh, you mean all that stuff Principal Gwyn told us? Who'd have thought the main campus would turn our school into one of those bases? The Viceland Army's intel is nothing short of reliable. It appears the Ark Royal has been all over the place with both the Sigma Ogre and the main campus instructors in tow. I figured as much. Sounds like the government's got them all right under its thumb. And we still have no idea why Instructor Toa meant to land to a backyard. That we don't. Not even the Viceland Army has managed to get a hold of any information about them. We are simply in the dark about what Elise and the Princess might be up to. I imagine General will be in contact but should she discover anything. That makes me wonder if Tio and, and Tita are okay too. Not to mention Louise and Jessica. I'm sure they're safe, just like Pablo, Sydney, and the others were. We'll see them again, but now we just have to trust in everyone's abilities. A lot of them are tougher than I give them credit for. Hell, even Tita's coming. Tatiana's come a long way. Oh, you don't say. You're damn right I didn't. <laughs> well, if we gotta believe in everyone, that includes believing in ourselves, too. We did manage to get all of new Class 7 back together after all, even if it did take some doing. Yes, yeah, all that remains is to get our instructor back. It would take the combined efforts of all of us, Class 7's new and old. I can't ignore the obligations of my own plans demand. 
But I still intend to play my part as a member of Class 7 to my fullest of my ability. Ha! Huh. Well, I ain't gonna let being a wanted man slow me down none. We don't need Schwartz's help to knock some heads together. Right, we may not have our instructor by our side, but we can still make good use of what we've learned from him. He'd expect nothing less of us. He said it, let's make it happen. I mean, where are you? Am I gonna get a little bit of a, uh, Celine still trying to suppress your power? Or are we gonna see something else? Yep. Have you finally calmed down, Reen? Are you gonna break out of your bonds? <sighs> Emma. Poor Celine. <sighs> Whoa. Even Reen's name is scratched out. Come on, Reen, remember. Reen! 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 Instructor Reen! Instructor Reen! Instructor Reen! Instructor Reen! Schwarzer! <laughs> Reen, Schwarzer! Collect the fragments! Collect the fragments <laughs> of your memory, Reen! Come back! Wake up! Remember everyone! Looks like you went up a rank. I only did four things. That couldn't po that can't possibly ha be good. Here's a little treat on me. Though again, I only did the things I saw. Nice work, troops. I know it ain't easy. <laughs> I literally only did the things I saw, man. And if I did, in fact, miss something, I don't know where it was. Because I swear, I look at every single map. I go to every single green marker. I even did the little out-of-the-way shrine. So if I miss something, <laughs> not really surprised if I did. Okay, but with that, I'm going to be ending these two. Okay, now I'm going to continue on a tiny bit more than on any episode. Mainly because I grinded for like, what, 20-something minutes, maybe? A little bit less than that. So when we have the, the ability to move around here, then I'll end the episode. But it shouldn't really be that long. And I wonder if I can move on as Yuna this time, or is it still going to be Kurt? Good news, everyone. As you all are aware, we only knew the locations of five singularities. But last night, we managed to narrow down the last two as well. Really? Where are they? One is below Heimdall. The other is somewhere in Crossbell Province. Crossbell? Yuna's homeland, huh? Neither of those are going to be easy to investigate. Elliot and Sarah tried to get into Heimdall already. It didn't go so well. Yeah, the security was so tight, we couldn't even get inside the city. And if we're going to be co combing through the underground tunnels looking for this thing, we'll need as much help as we can get. If Rufus is there, then Crossbell will be a challenge as well. The leader of the Iron Flit, Governor General Rufus Alperea. He's effectively the second most powerful man in the Empire. It's possible he'll be elsewhere scheming up some st strategy to use against the Republic. Either way, we'll need to have a discussion about how to distribute our members. Um, can I be part of the group that goes to Crossbell? I've got friends and family there. I need to know they're alright. You know. If you're going, the rest of New Class 7 will join you. Are you sure, Kurt? Don't, don't want to check out your family's training hall instead. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about my family. But they can handle themselves, I have to believe that. They're practitioners of the Vander style, they should be fine. Thanks, I'll be counting on you. <laughs> what do you all think? That's fine by me. New class 7 takes a cross spell. Just to take two of us with you, that'll make seven for each singularity. This is something we need to address before that, though. Indeed, it's a question of distance. If you don't have any teleportation stones, then please to take you there either. Oh. I guess that is a problem. You will have simply have to travel through conventional means from the Ismia Great Forest. Obviously, there isn't time for you to go on foot. We'll need to come up with something. With your MP watching the trains, we can't use the Transcontinental Railroad. I'd ask the Vice Land Army to assist us, but they're on high alert right now. Vehicles? Elisa? Maybe I can help. Really, Elisa? Do you have any idea? I can't promise anything, but I'll try. I need to get in touch with an old friend first. I'll leave this match in your hands then. Spend the rest of the day as you please. Rest up and make sure you're fully prepared to tackle the last singularities. Has anyone seen seen it say end of chapter one? Because I don't think I have. Which, in which case, are all the singularities actually chapter one? In which case, how long is this game? Because I, here I was thinking it was going to be shorter, but I don't know, man. Vien is still locked up. Oh, we are level 71 already. And the fact that that means we have 28 more levels to go until we max level at 99. The game might not actually have that many chapters, and it could very well just be chapter 1? Chapter 2? And then maybe, uh... The end? That'd be kind of strange. Unless they just didn't specifically mention a second chapter, but I doubt it. I wonder how everyone back in Crossbell is doing. Bill not the word, they're going to get caught right in the middle of it. That's why we're going. We'll keep them safe no matter what. I shouldn't overthink things. I need to take this day off to recharge. Okay, so yeah, we are controlling Yuna now. Looks like everyone's left already. I'd better get going too. Maybe I should talk to the old class 7. Here's the thing. If we're doing Yuna now, then the next time we come back, it might be we control Altina. You will control Yuna during this rest day. You can challenge different quests, mini games, and take on the third section sector of the St. Graal Labyrinth. After completing all the required events, you can return to the guest room on the atelier, second floor, to rest for the day. Branch Campus Uniform times 5, Yuna's apron, Altina's Branch Campus cap, Musee's shirt, Musee's hat, Travel hat, Branch Campus cap. That is a lot. Okay, no one wants to do Vantage Masters, right? Nope. I honestly kind of want to go and... Head to the Labyrinth, just purely to see, like, what enemies are there. Okay, so there's a green marker in a herbis herbalist home. Teleportation stone. Eww. We should be fine. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I really need to end the episode and actually start editing and whatnot. Well, episodes at this point. So that is going to end these two episodes here. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next one. We'll be going and talking to everyone inside of Erin. I don't know why I just hit those two buttons. Talk to everyone here. Go to the Herbalist home. Go out and about to the Labyrinth and run around. And if we do have stuff that we can grind against there... I may very well then decide to do it. I might. And by do it, I mean grind levels if there's something we can do there. Come on.
Might as well do this before I start the next episode so I don't have to do it later. Anyone gonna show up, Sarah? Use A and fear here. Hey, Rose showed up. Ah, <laughs> a good break. Alright, see ya. Till then, see you guys later.